Welcome students to class today on this Monday, May 9th. Hope you're doing well today and hope you're ready to continue to go over factoring. Now, um, here's, a, here's a look. Sorry for yawning. It's late at night. Here's a look at the schedule for this week. Okay, we're going to have homework and notes and quiz corrections today. Tuesday, we're going to have a quiz and we're going to review for your test. Wednesday is factoring test. So Wednesday, we will take a test over all the factoring we've learned. Thursday, we'll go over the test and we'll take some notes on Friday. Now, you have nothing to turn in. There was nothing given to you on Friday to do, so you have nothing to turn in. Incompletes for track two. Let's see what we have here real quick. Um, let's see, this was given on Wednesday, so Caleb will, Timothy, you need to turn that in by Friday. Second factoring handout given Wednesday. Caleb and Taylor, be sure and get that turned in by Friday, okay? Um, I gave a handout in class on Wednesday, okay? And uh, that's it. Please get these turned in, guys. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to contact me. All right, moving on. Um, today we're gonna. Today we'll first be going, going over your quizzes from last week, okay? Um, and then we're gonna also look at your tests from last week. Then we're gonna work on homework that covers Friday's material, and then take notes, okay? So, Mrs. Duke and students, it's very, very, very important that you go in the exact order that I've asked you to do this, okay? So this is this is not the order right here, okay? I'm going to tell you um, exactly what I want you to do toward the end of this video, okay? But first of all, make note of this. Here's the test correction video. It's about 25 minutes long, okay? So please make note of that, students. Also, make note that your test corrections are not due until Friday. Got that? Not due until Friday. So I will, I will remind you of that every day so that you won't forget. Now the test stats, um, let me look at my, my test here real quick. Um, there was um, 1A, I believe Jonathan Chauncey had a 93, that was 1A. If you want to check my work, guys, um, each mistake was 1.5 points off. So add up all the mistakes that you made and multiply it by 1.5. Subtract that from 100 and you should have your grade. All right. Um, the homework that is due tomorrow is a handout. We're going to call it handout number three. And Mrs. Duke has that handout already for you. And the help video is called August 21st homework, okay? It's about 13 minutes long. Now, just so there's no confusion, everyone listen well. We're doing homework first today before notes. Here's why. Are you listening, guys? On Friday, we took notes. We never did homework. So today, we're going to work on homework that covers Friday's notes. When we're done working on this homework, then you're going to take notes on a very short video. And there it is. It's about seven minutes long. So let's go over this again, okay? We're doing nothing in class today with desk corrections. Nothing. Okay, so we're doing nothing with test corrections. That's yours to do on your own before the week is over. Today's schedule, Mrs. Duke, we're first going to go over the quiz that we took last week. Now, when I get ready to do that, I do need a couple students who have not taken the quiz. I think it's, who did I say has not taken the quiz yet? Let's see here. Did I not have that up here? Um... All right, students, give me one second here. Okay, students, I'm back, and I'm, I'm surprised I forgot to put this up here, but here it is. Um, quiz number 20. Let's have that taken, Caleb and Dave. Let's have that taken by Wednesday. Okay, quiz number 20 by Wednesday, please. And I will need you two guys to step out of the room just for a couple minutes while I go over this quiz. And actually, you know what? You can stay in the room because I'm going to give you guys a different quiz. So um, I'll have those ready for you, Mrs. Duke, tomorrow. I'll email those other quizzes to you, okay? But anyways, um, th so those quizzes must be taken by Wednesday. But here's our schedule for today. We're going to go over your quizzes, and then we're going to do homework that covers Friday's notes. And then when that homework video is done, then we're going to take notes for about seven minutes. Now, if Mrs. Mrs. Duke, if all this doesn't get done, then just email me and let me know where you stopped at, okay? Um, and there's the teaching video, Factoring Four-Term Polynomials. Quiz number 20 is posted on 
on Sycamore. Okay. And here's what will be on tomorrow's quiz. You know what? Let's hold off on a quiz tomorrow because I really want to make sure we're getting this factoring okay. So no quiz tomorrow. Um, that's all for today, students. Um, now, in a second, we're going to go over your quizzes, okay? <clears throat> so please get your quizzes out. Have them on your desk and be listening and finding your mistakes. Guys, it's really, really important to do. If you're not going to do that, then you're not going to learn how to factor and you're not going to do well on the test this coming Wednesday. And that's a very important test, okay? It's your third test of the nine weeks and a lot of you need a good grade to pass the semester, okay? So really, please pay attention and work hard on this, okay? Um, so um, go over your quiz and then test and then, or excuse me, go over your quizzes, then work on homework and then take notes. All right, have a great day. Now, let's go ahead and get started with your quizzes, okay? So everyone should have a quiz on their desk. Those that did not take the quiz, you're welcome to watch this. It's okay. Number one, we're going to factor this. And by the way, there were some good grades on this quiz. We had a, a 100 for Jonathan, a 95 for Kendra, 95 for Caitlin, a 100 for Will. So some pretty good grades on this. Okay, if you want to check my work, the first mistake was 5 points off, and every mistake after was 12 points off. Okay, all right, here we go. Okay, we're going to factor this. Okay, now here's what we have. We have a trinomial, three terms. One, two, three. My lead coefficient is 1. So all I do is this is so easy. I say to myself, what two numbers would multiply together, give me negative 24, would add together, give me 5, remember? So I list out all the factors of 24. 1 and 24, 1 and 24. 2 times 12, 2 times 12. 3 times 8, 3 times 8. 4 times 6, 4 times 6. Now, I want a negative 24. So when you're multiplying, that's a positive times a negative, negative times a positive, positive times a negative, negative times a positive, and so on and so forth, okay? Now, only one of these groups of numbers adds up to or combines to a positive 5. And that's these two numbers here. If you take your calculator and type in negative 3 plus 8, you will get 5. So your factorization is x minus 3, x, positive 8. There we go. On to the next problem in your on your quiz. Okay, let's factor this problem. All right, here we go. We have a trinomial lead coefficient of 1, so we're going to list out all the factors of 8. So here we go, 1 times 8. 2 times 4, and that's it. I have a positive 8, so a positive times a positive gives you a positive, and a negative times a negative gives you a positive. So positive, positive, negative, negative, positive, positive, negative, negative. Now only one of these groups will add up to a negative 6, and it's those two right there, okay? So x, negative 2 from your negative 2 here x negative 4 from your negative 4 here. And there we go. Okay, guys. All right, moving on. Okay, let's factor this equation, or this um, trinomial here. Now, if, notice, first of all, as I just said a second ago, we have a trinomial, the coefficient of 1. So let's list out all the factors of 12. 1 times 12, 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, 3 times 4, now it's a negative 12, so we have a positive times a negative, negative times a positive, positive times a negative, negative times a positive, so on and so forth. Now only one of these groups adds up or combines to a negative 4, it would be these two numbers here, positive 2, negative 6, alright, so my factorization is x positive 2, x negative 6. These are not too difficult, guys. Okay, list out the factors and then circle the group that combines or adds up to this middle term right here, this middle coefficient. Okay, and last but not least, x squared 
positive 7x, positive 12. So, actually, you know what? I should have left those factors up there, shouldn't have I? Let's see if we can do that real quick. Save us a little bit of time. There we go. All right, so here's our last problem right here. X squared, positive 7x, positive 12. All right. Now, the only problem is, well, first of all, let me, let me not, get, not get ahead of myself. We have a trinomial with a lead coefficient of 1, so I've got to list out all the factors of 12. But it's a positive 12, so I want a positive times a positive, negative times a negative, positive times a positive, negative times a negative, positive times a positive, negative times a negative. Now, if you look at all these groups and add these two and add these two and add these two, only one group adds up to positive 7, and that's this group here, positive 3, positive 4. So your factorization would be x positive 3, x positive 4, and that's it. That's going over your quiz, okay? Now, those that did not take the quiz, Taylor and Caleb, you will take a different quiz on um, <coughs> by Wednesday. But hopefully this helped you guys out a little bit too, getting to see this, okay? Um, that's it for today, guys. Please get to work first on your homework assignment and then your notes.